It's Connor here in Barcelona. Got uh, Barcelona down behind me on top of ESA Business School here in Barcelona. And this week I've been on a bit of a binge of podcasts. Tim Ferriss, Dan Sullivan. And there's a couple of ideas that stuck me, with me this week from Dan Sullivan in particular. And I'm going to stick a link below to Dan Sullivan's podcast because it's full of great ideas. And every time I listen to Dan, I just feel clearer and more certain about what's important. And Dan, in a discussion with Peter Diamandis, was talking about longevity, living a long time. And more important than health, they were talking about the three things you really need in your life if you're going to live for a long time. And they're saying is, if on your 84th birthday, you have good friends around you, you have enough money for what matters, and if you have purpose, if there's a reason to use your days, it's highly likely you'll still be around on your 85th birthday, and highly likely you'll still be around year after year after year. If you have friends, money, and purpose, you'll do the work to eat well, to keep fit, to take care of your body. If any one of those three are missing, if you have money and purpose, but there's no friends, there's no one who misses you, there's no one to gather with and share your life, it's an empty thing and you're not going to stay around for long. If you have friends and you've got purpose, but you've got no money, and every day is a worry about where you'll sleep, where you'll eat, what you'll eat tomorrow, who you'll beg for a bed, it's going to be hard to stay around. And if you've got money, and you've got friends, but you haven't got a purpose. There's no project that needs you. There's nothing you're pushing to make happen in the world. I think that it's a very hedonistic but empty life. You need to work on making sure that not only now, but every year of your life, there's a great social life of friends that you love to be with and you want to be with them. They give you connection and significance. Connection is when you're not there, you're missed. Significance is when you are there and you have something to say, they want to hear it. You feel like they care what you have to say. Money is knowing that your money is enough to cover what's important, your house you have. So putting yourself in a position financially that you're not begging off of others is vital to be able to live a long and fruitful life. Number three, purpose. And I think we are beings of meaning. We need a meaning in our life. We need to feel that our days are going towards something. We need to feel growth and progress. And you know, if today you have friends, today you're in a good money position, and today you feel that your work connects to the legacy you'd like to live, then I think you're in a good place. If not, you need to work hard to make sure you have good friends that care about you. You need to work, make sure that you put yourself over the next year, two years, 10 years, 20 years into a good financial situation. And you need to search to find purpose. And I think the way I found it is finding mentors that live lives of purpose and spending time with them. So to me, the first step in finding purpose is, is putting yourself around other people who live a life that seems guided by an inner purpose. If you've got that, as Dan and Peter Diamandis were saying, on your 84th birthday, you'll last till 85. If you've got it today, you're going to live a good life today. So this week, what I hope for you is that today or in the near future, you put yourself in a place where you have great friends around you, you're financially in a solid place, and there's a purpose to your work and to your life and to how you relate and grow. If that's the case, then I'm very pleased. Uh, if that's not, get working on these three things, friends, money, and purpose. Again, this is Connor on the roof of ESA Business School in Barcelona, uh, teaching here again this week. And uh, thank you for your subscribes, your likes, your comments, your questions. Uh, your questions keep me coming up with ideas to, to post on here. Also podcasts, what podcast do you love? I love Tim Ferriss, I love uh, uh, Dan Sullivan. What other podcasts should I be listening to that share that sort of wise tips? Have a great one.